Okay. <coughs> oh. mm, excuse me. Uh, okay, so. Uh, I've, you know, gotten... Or I've used up all of my PPs. So, now, all I need to do is uh, hopefully struggle and win. My main concern here, though, is if I go to Pokemon and check out what Uno reverses stats, it's got a bold nature which reduces the attack and raises the defense, which means it only has a ba it only currently has 13 attack points, which might mean I'm gonna need to grind it up to like level 15 to 20. Which is gonna be in well actually it's probably be good that it's probably good that I've used over my PP anyway then because it's just like it'll probably make grinding a bit easier rather than relying on the very low damage of wild Pokemon that to level up on. Stand up. Ooh, is struggle affected by accuracy? I really hope not. He keeps sand attacking even though I'm using struggle, so maybe it is. Oh, I'm really concerned about the amount of recoil though. Does struggle always do a certain amount of recoil? Uh, let me just quickly hop over to Torpedia. Struggle. Move. As a diamond, it's just a general move by every pick. Gen 1, uh, either with recoil damage equal to her. Oh, Gen 2 and Gen 3, Gen 4, the user now takes one quarter max. Yeah. Which means I can only use struggle a maximum of four times before I just faint no matter what. Which means I'm going to need to have to be able to KO them. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to grind up a lot more levels. So again, I suppose it's good that I got struggle. For grinding. Okay then, I guess I'm gonna have to go do that now then. Bye bye. <laughs>
Right, so I want to quickly go over my reasoning for coming into the uh, Unknown Ruins, and that's because um, all put, you know, in like the patches of grass, all of the Pokemon that, you know, have, you know, status moves and attacking moves, and it can be a bit pain but to, with them deciding which one to use, but I, then I remembered that in here, there's Unknown. And unknown always can you always use a hidden power because it's the only move it can ever learn, and because it's Gen Four, it's always special. I think it might change whether it's special or physical in Gen One, Two, and Three, or Two and Three, but I can't confirm. It seems like something it should do, but um, yeah. So we've got unknown in here. There, I think they're all level five. Well, it could be a bit, could vary a bit. And we've got two level five, so I think they all might be level five. So this is going to provide the most consistent area to grind because they're always going to use hidden power. I'm always going to use miller coat, and it's up, oh, and it's going to be somewhat reliable as a grinding spot. Uh, I'm not going to bother with you because you've got a very effective move, and I want to conserve PP. Um, and the reason why I've switched from using uh, Struggle uh, to Grind is because um, well, it's, it's, be it's because it does 25% of the uh, max HP and using Struggle it's, you're not really going to be able to knock many things out. It's like, and it's going to cost a lot of money to keep healing up with potions. So this is the um, best method, and at least now I don't have to use my really bad attack stat to grind. So I really think this is probably going to be the fastest way to get to get leveling up on wild pets, at least for now. There's probably going to be areas with other Pokemon that are more reliably reliable. Um, give more experience but maybe aren't as reliable. Well, they're given a decent amount of experience. Um, I can't really use like counter or milk coat on a um, on a cocoon, uh, metapod. A cocoon, sorry. This is a soul silver. Ah, oh, I use counter by accident, but yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be going in here for a little while. Well, I say a little while. It's super effective, nice. Probably dark type or ghost type. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go get back to grinding.
Okay, so before I uh, try the struggle strategy again, I'm going to quickly try, uh, you know, counter mirror coat. Because what I'm hoping here is that now that I'm level 15, he might not spam um, sand attack as much. But that is a very big might. Um, shift. Uh, he is most likely still going to spam uh, sand attack, but might as well give it a try real quick, just in case. Never know, might get lucky. Okay, use tackle. Oh no, it's using sand attack. Right, now I've got a bunch more health, I might be able to survive a bit better. Fourth sun attack. Fifth sun attack. Counter and Relico should not be affected by accuracy and the sixth sun attack. I got why <laughs> My God, that that was just way too many misses. I don't know what. My yeah. What? What is an accuracy of one hundred percent accurate move after six sand attacks? So, go, went for tackle first turn last time. Yeah, and he's doing something this time. Then you went for sand attack. Yeah, then you went for tackle. Oh, no! He's doing sand attack again. Two sand attacks, that's three sand attacks. Oh no, you used tackle you piece of shit. Oh. Yeah, no, I don't think this is gonna work. He's gonna stand attack. Oh no, he tackled. And then he stand attacks. And then he stand attacks again, just does a big fuck you to me.
This wouldn't be nearly as bad if I could, uh, yeah, if he just didn't pick them at random. Like, he almost, like, it's, oh, nice crit. Um, it seems like he almost always starts off with tackle. It's just like, after that, it's entirely random, and tackle missed. That will take it out. Or if not, I'll leave it on my tiny bit of HP. Oh no, down goes Pidgey. Nice. Now, a 50 50 chance goes for Tackle or Sand Attack, as the Tackle or Dust here. That went for Dust. And I'm gonna go for Miracle this time, and it better fucking not go for Tackle when I go for Miracle. Yes, okay. Still going for gust, okay, that's good. I think that critical hit at the start that took him down to half HP May have messed with his AI and then, uh, yeah, there we go. Did it without using struggle. Brilliant. Oh, that's good. Okay, so what I think happened there was um, when Pidgey, uh, when his Pidgey critical hit at my barber friend and I countered this tackle. That took him down to half health, and he was like, oh, another hit will take me out, so I might as well just use Tackle um, to try and get as much damage as I can. And then, uh, because of that, I managed to uh, win, I guess. Alright, that's my very, like, rough guess. Um... Of what happened there. Um, but yeah, if you know more about uh, AIs and like Gen 4 and stuff like that, uh, and you know exactly what went on here, yeah, let me know down in the uh, comment section below. Uh, if you want, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and if you want to make sure you do get notified when I upload a video or go live, join the Discord, it, the channel Discord. It's the first Discord link in the description. And I'll and hopefully I see you guys in the next video or live stream I decide to do. Bye bye.